Living off your dividends. It's the dream of just about every dividend investor, being fully supported by a steady stream of 100% passive income. But can you live off dividends? And how much money do you need to live off dividends? We're gonna get into everything you need to know about living off your dividend income in this video, and we're starting now. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, or if you couldn't read that title card, my name is Jay, and today we're talking about living off of your dividends. Chances are, if you're a dividend investor, one of your goals is to eventually be able to live off the dividend income that your investments produce. Living off dividends is an attractive proposition for a number of reasons. First and foremost, dividend income is 100% passive income. Once you have that money invested, once it's turning off dividends for you, you don't have to do a thing but sit back and collect those checks. Secondly, dividends are investment income that you can use without ever having to sell any shares of your stocks or funds and without having to touch the principle of your investment. But is it really possible? Can you live off of dividends? and how much money do we really need to make this happen? And the answer is a lot. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like down below. No, I'm just kidding. It's a little more complicated than that, as you can imagine. Because first and foremost, the amount you need invested to be able to live off your dividends depends on your expenses. If you don't know the amount of money that you need your investments to be generating, the amount you need to cover your expenses and your lifestyle, then you'll never be able to figure out how much you need to invest to get there. So the first step in determining how much you need to have invested before you can live off your dividends is to figure out what your yearly expenses are. And according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics here in the United States in 2019, the average household expenditures were $63,000. So we'll start with that average, $63,000 per year in living expenses that we need to cover. Now, the general rule of thumb I've heard is to take that yearly expense amount and multiply it by 25. And that will get you your number that you'll need to be able to live off your dividend income. So if we take 63,000 and we multiply it by 25, that gives us $1.575 million. And that is a lot of money, my friends, but there's a catch. And the catch is that calculation assumes a 4% dividend yield. And why is that a catch, you might ask? Well, if we look at the dividend yield of the market in general, the S&P 500, we'll see that the S&P 500 only yields about 1.4%. Okay, we're dividend investors. We're not looking to live off of the S&P 500 dividend income. We're gonna be invested in dividend stocks and ETFs and whatever else. So for simplicity's sake, let's look at the yield of two dividend focus ETFs. First, we've got the Vanguard High Dividend Yield ETF, VYM, and we've got the Schwab High Dividend Yield ETF, SCHD. I've done individual videos going in depth on both of these, which you can check out in the description below. But for the purposes of this video here, what you need to know about these dividend focus ETFs is that historically, if you look back year to year, you'll see they generally pay out a dividend of a roughly 3%. So you can see where I'm going with this. That 4% assumption we made a little earlier may be a little too pie in the sky. If we take our dividend focus ETFs as our example, it looks like a more realistic calculation might be with a 3% yield. And with a 3% dividend yield, those $63,000 in yearly expenses that we need to cover now mean that we need to save over $2 million in order to comfortably live off of just our dividend income. $2 million. That's a lot of money, right? Now, before you angrily click off of this video and accuse me of clickbaiting you down in the comments, let's consider a few things. That $63,000 in living expenses is for the average US household. But you and me, we're not average here, are we? You're obviously probably more into finance investing than your average person because you're watching such a distinguished channel such as my own. So I'm gonna go out a limb I'm gonna say you, me, we're above average. And if you're so easily bought by such compliments, now would be a great time to look down below and hit the like button on this video for me. So now that we've established that all of us here are smarter, better looking, and better with our money than the average US household, you can probably assume 
we're capable of living off of less than $63,000 per year. And if we're able to do just that, if say we can live off of $40,000 per year instead of 63,000, that takes a whole $700,000 off the amount we need to save and invest to be able to live off our dividend income at that 3% yield. If your yearly spending and expenses is just $30,000 per year, you can get away with having saved less than $1 million total in order to be able to live off just your dividend income. Again, we're not talking about selling off principal and all that. We're talking about that 3% dividend yield. So $30,000 per year in expenses, you don't even need a million dollars. And I get it. 900,000, a million, $2 million, all of this seems like an unfathomable amount of money to a lot of people. But again, I'm not BSing you. I'm not just buttering you up. So you hit the like button, you subscribe to my channel. You can do it. You watching this video, wherever you are, you can have a million dollars invested so that you too can live off your dividend income. And let's take a closer look at what it will take to get there now. First up in our little game of who wants to be a millionaire, let's take someone who is 20 years old and has absolutely zero dollars invested, not a cent. If you're 20 years old and starting from scratch, you have zero dollars invested, you need to save just $600 a month into the stock market in order to become a millionaire by age 55. Now that's starting completely from zero and you'd be a millionaire at 55, which means it's feasible for you to be living off your dividend income at age 55 which is a full 10 years earlier than the typical retirement age here in the US. And yes, yeah, $600 is a lot of money, but I think it's still an amount that's within reach for a lot of people to be able to invest, especially if you're the kind of person that has the goal and you're looking to live off your dividend income at some point. Now, for some of us, being 20 years old is just a memory. So what if you're 30 years old? And again, you're starting from the bottom. You have nothing saved or invested right now. Obviously, if you're 30 and you're starting from scratch, you're going to have to work harder. You're going to have to invest a lot more. For you 30-year-olds out there, you're going to have to save $1,275 per month into the stock market in order to become a millionaire by age 55. And again, that's starting from absolutely no savings, and that still gets you to a million by 55, which again is 10 years before the typical retirement age in the United States. Now I'll link to that calculator I'm using here down in the description below, and you can go play with it, plug in your own numbers, and find out what it will take for you to become a millionaire by whatever age your goal is. But the takeaway here is that it's possible. You can do it. Even if you're 30 and starting from scratch, you can get there by 55 to an amount where you can theoretically live off just dividend income. And the two major keys that we've seen to be able to live off your dividend income are obviously lower your expenses because the less you can live off of, the less your yearly expenses are, the less you need to have invested to be able to do so. And secondly, get started investing early. It's something I always talk about here on the channel, but you can see how it works in action here. That 20 year old need to save about half of what someone just 10 years older did to become a millionaire by the same age at 55. If you wanna see how to live off dividends faster than what we've talked about so far in this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel because in my next video, I will be sharing strategies on how to do exactly that. In the meantime, check out these two videos right over here. I think you'll enjoy those as well, and I hope to see you in the next video.